little bit of background here. Wouldn't be code, it'd be something else you've had maybe. Add the bumble. Yeah, the bumble. Okay. <laughs> so that's there. Okay. Um, again, you've got neutrophils here. You've got this one, Sarah, is nice. That actually might be an issue. I think my immune system is pretty good. Yeah, so he, he's nice and shiny. This one's a bit old, but you know, you get a few of those. What's interesting, you've got a few of these uh, lipticides, these long ones, so you aren't actually making, uh, some of your red blood cells aren't um, uh, optimal, okay? okay? So you may need to really look at your iron levels. Okay. okay. I don't really eat red meat. You do? Yeah. No, so you might need to just, you know, uh, look at, and if you don't want to use red meat, look at other, you know, iron rich sources like your beetroot or your pepitas and things like that, okay? Monocyte, nice and healthy. Um, neutrophil, fine. Another lymphocyte. So all, you know, you've, you've got all the cells there. Most of them are viable. Some of them a bit old, but that's usual to see because obviously, you know, it's not the stagnant thing. It's constantly yeah. evolving. So you're going to have a few oldies and then the new ones get bored in. Okay. There's not a lot of inflammation. See how you don't have any of those balloon ones or yeah. big fibrin in the They're background. They're not like pointy either. They're not all yes. pointy, <laughs> which is good. You do have a little bit of... Um, platelet aggregation, okay. so, um, but certainly not what we call significant. Okay? What does that mean? Platelet aggregation, again, is a sign of general inflammation going on. If okay. we were seeing a lot of it, we would be looking at maybe leaky gut or potentially making too many clotting factors because there's something going on in the system. What are these, like? Oh, that's just That's an old one. Old that's a <laughs> poikilocyte. Yeah. Okay. He's an old white blood uh -huh. cell, so he's pretty much he's ready to go after that. retirement. If you're seeing lots of them, I would say you've got a lot of oxidative stress, okay. but the odd one or two, even 1% of his cells is normal because he's just getting old, so it's time for him to chop off to the liver, <laughs> to the spleen to get uh, taken out of service. <laughs> he so, won't now. <laughs> no. So that, no, not now. He's, he's been truly taken out of service. <laughs> Okay, so oh, that one's do. in the shape of like a light bulb. Yeah, okay, so that's a keratocyte. He's actually had bits munched out of him. Oh. And that's because he's had either st oxidative stress or something and the spleen's gone, I'll just clean you up on those okay. bits. And he's taken munches out of him. <laughs> okay, but see how small he is? So you really yeah. do need, between your ellipticides and several small red blood cells, you really need to look at your iron levels, okay? okay? They're that low. Yeah. Okay. So just water and iron. You need water, yeah. So I have like good more. fats and... Yeah, yeah, you've also in the last couple of months probably been exposed to some sort of viral infection because you've got mainly most of your lymphocytes have been these atypical with this big ring around yeah. them. Okay. I just had food poisoning like a week ago. Yeah, it's probably not this <laughs> one. Um, that's probably a couple of months ago. Yeah, I was like really sick, yeah. bedridden for like two weeks. Yeah, so that would be more like yeah. this. Um, your neutrophils, you know, they're up there, they're activated. You've got, see, some healthy, some sort of um, a little bit old. Um, so it could be with the food poisoning, some, you know, they've, yeah. had, they've really been going full pelt yeah. and some are just a little bit old and need to be um, recycled out. The monocyte there. So all in all, pretty good, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no big sticky proteins. Not like Look, you and <laughs> maybe, maybe top your iron up. Okay. Yeah, here's some other little bubby ones. Oh, this one's like... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that's the main thing. And drink, you're dehydrated. Okay. okay? Yeah. So there's your monocytes here. The rest is fine. A bit of platelet aggregation here too. Okay, so there might be just a little bit of inflammation going on in your system from something. I don't know what. It could okay. be stress. You've got exams coming up. Yeah. Okay? So, no, but all pretty good. Whoa, what was that? Ah, uh, that's, that's just a... It's either bubble or a dot in the slide, okay. but that's, that's nothing in your blood, like, no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> looks, looks impressive, but no. I don't see the rumble. No. <laughs> okay, so these, yeah, they're all nice. They're, that's a nice little one of all your different white blood cells. Oh, well, not all your different, but your lymphocytes and your neutrophils. So here's a young one that's been called mm. out. So, yeah, you probably have uh. been fighting off like suggest food poisoning, so... But all in all, pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Yeah. <laughs> so go drink a heap of water and go do your test. <laughs> okay? Because <laughs> the membranes are good too, which is good.